Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you the best way to farm Autopetters. It is very easy, all you have to do is head over to the Jojo Mart after completing the Jojo Warehouse, where you can then purchase one for 50,000 gold. Ah, that's right, you didn't complete the Jojo Warehouse. Instead, you decided to complete the community center like someone with strong moral values. Anyway. So today I'll be showing you the most effective method for farming these useful items. If some of you didn't know, an auto petter will prevent animals from losing friendship points of view due to a lack of petting. Additionally, they will increase the friendship and mood level you have with your animals at approximately half the speed. Meaning, you could put one of these down and never have to pet an animal within the specific barn or coop again, and they would eventually achieve 5 star friendship. However, this would take twice as long. Notably, Regular petting and auto petters stack, meaning using this technique can help you achieve a 5 star friendship level even faster. It is important to note that auto petters will not stop friendship and mood levels decreasing if you suddenly decide to starve your animals, which some of us can accidentally do from time to time. So, how do we get auto petters? Well, according to the wiki, there are a couple of ways. During the Shrine of Challenge, something which can be activated after completing the Danger in the Deep quest from QI's Walnut Room, an auto petter can be dropped from barrels, crates or monsters as a special item. However, crates and barrels only have a 2.2% chance of dropping a special item. Following this, there is only a 2% chance that the item will be an auto petter, meaning a whopping 0.044% chance that a crate or barrel will give you one. 1.2% of slimes are special slimes and will drop a special item. Combined with the 2% means a 0.024% chance from a slime. Less than 0.2% chance of monsters will drop a special item. Combined with the 2% chance that it would be an auto petter equals a 0.004% chance. Using a burglar's ring can effectively double the chance, however the percentage is so low already that I wouldn't recommend anyone doing this. Luckily there is a much easier option. In the Skull Cavern, on a treasure floor, there is a 3.85% chance that an auto petter will appear, which is a far higher percentage than the first option. I couldn't find clear information on the percentage chance of coming across a treasure room on the wiki, however, I did see that their occurrence is improved by having high daily luck and luck buffs. Great, so the best way to get these auto petters is to go through as many floors as possible with the best luck buffs. So, how do we get the best luck possible? Fortunately for you, I've made a checklist. We will need two lucky rings, the special charm, magic rock candy, and QI season ginger ale. All of this combined with the highest daily luck, which is achieved when you see this message, will give you the best chances for coming across as many auto petters as possible. First, let's begin with the lucky rings. The best way to get lucky rings is to pan in the river on Ginger Island on a good luck day using luck buffs from food and drink. This is because panning spots are very frequent along this river, and the delay between each panning spot appearing is very short. As well as this, increased luck will increase your chances of, of acquiring the lucky ring. I'd recommend using gin ginger ale and magic rock candy. If you're struggling to farm prismatic shards for the candy, I would recommend using a lucky lunch, which you can learn the recipe for on the 28th of spring in year 2 and every subsequent 2 years by watching the Queen of Source show on the TV. Or, get lucky and get the recipe on a Wednesday rerun, where a random unknown recipe will be given to the player. If you do not find the lucky ring by the end of that specific day, you should quit and reload your save in order to not waste your food and drink luck buffs. If you try on that same day however, you will keep finding the same items. Instead, you will have to keep sleeping until you find another good luck day. Keep repeating this method until you have two lucky rings. You can also get lucky rings from special item drops from crates, barrels and monsters, however these chances are too low. To hear more information about lucky rings, check out the video link in the description. You can acquire the special charm after you've obtained secret note 20. Give this guy in the van a rabbit's foot and he will give you the special charm which permanently increases daily luck by 0.025, which equates to 2.5 luck when compared to food buffs given such as ginger ale and magic rock candy. Ginger ale can be made using 3 ginger and 1 sugar. Ginger can be harvested from these spots, they will continually reappear as time progresses and you cannot grow ginger yourself. QI seasoning can be bought from QI's walnut room, 10 for 10 gems. Magic rock candy can be purchased from the desert trader for 3 prismatic shards on a Thursday. 
What's next is we need to find a way to get through floors as fast as possible. Using bombs and slaying monsters takes too long, instead we are going to use staircases. I was able to farm this many by placing jades in crystallariums, which can then be traded to the desert trader for staircases on a Sunday. The best way to farm jades is to have around 10 to 20 crystallariums. Jades only take around one day to farm. Simply place them near your bed, wake up, collect them, go to bed and repeat. Do this until you have around 500. You can always farm more if you run out. Now that you have your two lucky rings, lucky charm, QI seasoned ginger ale, magic rock candy and around 30 mega bombs, wait for a good luck day. Once you get one, warp or obelisk to the desert to save time. Eat the candy, drink the ale and get staircasing. The rock candy lasts longer than the ginger ale, so bring a couple of extra ales with you. The rock candy lasts for around 10 minutes. I'll speed up time and show you what I got. Unfortunately, I didn't get one, so I'm going to quit the game and try again. If you want to keep what you found, you can, but you'll need to get another rock candy. You can replay the same day, and unlike panning, treasure chests will produce different items. Let's keep trying until we find one. Great, we found one, and we still have a couple of minutes on our candy. What should we do now? I would recommend we stop using our staircases and instead use our bombs to farm three more prismatic shards to buy another rock candy. This should be relatively easy to do as we are already so far deep and iridium nodes will be more common. The reason I suggest you leave is because no matter what you do, you will save the game considering you found an autopetter. If you keep staircasing to find more treasure, you risk not finding any more autopetters and instead waste another 100 or so staircases not finding anything of use. So instead, you'll stop staircasing, get the three prismatic shards, buy another rock candy, then rinse and repeat until you acquire as many autopetters as you need. And there you have it, the most effective method for acquiring autopetters after following the community centre route. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments on something you don't understand, or perhaps something I missed. Thanks for watching, bye!